My name is Carlos Rubio Regalado. I'm from Jalisco, Mexico, raised in Tulsa, Oklahoma. I'm studying industrial and systems engineering with a minor in Spanish at the University of Oklahoma, and I'm currently interning for Congressman Ben Ray Lujan. What inspires you to pursue leadership opportunities? I think what inspires me to pursue leadership opportunities uh, is the kind of idea and dream that my parents had to cross a border years ago. Um, coming from Mexico, fleeing adversity, um, specifically to a place like Tulsa, seems like a challenge right, out, right off the bat. Um, and I think my parents have instilled this idea of hard work and tenacity regardless of any obstacles or even any borders in the way. Um, so definitely that idea of pursuing leadership stems from a sacrifice that my parents uh, took 20 years ago. What tools and resources are going to help you create a positive change in the Latino community? I think opportunities um, and experience as far as representation goes are going to be key and pivotal, pivotal for kind of advancing the Latino community and Hispanic community specifically in the state of Oklahoma within my own community. Um, getting an opportunity to be in Washington DC for a summer, getting to intern on the Hill, that's not something that a lot of Oklahomans, specifically a lot of Latino or Hispanic um, Oklahomans get the opportunity to do. Uh, so representation is super key. If, if I go back home and students get, look at me and recognize kind of the summer that I have and take it upon themselves to apply for a program like the CHCI Congressional Internship Program, uh, it'll go a long way. So I think definitely in terms of advancement, it's kind of me taking this first step as far as representation goes so that other students can follow. Why do you think it's important for young people to play an active role in politics? Young people are going to be the voice for tomorrow. Um, right now, we're living in a society where we're facing kind of the ramifications, for lack of a better word, of a previous, previous generations. Um, so it's important for young people to not only stay persistent within politics, uh, but also super active. Um, whether that's voting, whether that's coming on the Capitol Hill, whether that's volunteering at your local grassroots um, initiatives within your hometowns and home states, it's important for the young people to get involved because they're going to be setting the, the groundwork for these next generations. They're going to be deciding what politics will look like 20 years from now when other students are going to start coming through the systems, um, when other students are going to start having opportunities like we do. So, What qualities do you think are important in the leader? I think a good leader is someone who is passionate and who listens. Someone who listens attentively as well. Someone who takes the time to kind of recognize those around them uh, whether that's working in a team or whether that's catering to a community. Being able to listen to your surroundings and kind of take it in for what it is um, gives the leader the, the cunning edge, right? A good leader will take note of their surroundings and they'll, they'll work passionately with other people and kind of capitalize off of differences within other people and while also simultaneously listening uh, in order to, to advance something forward. What are, you personally, what are you personally doing to make the world a better place for your generation? So personally, in the state of Oklahoma, I've been blessed to be involved with a lot of Latino student life endeavors, specifically in my university. Um, it's been a blast being able to put on cultural events that the university funds, as well as offering opportunities to high school students um, to come to a, an institution of higher education to get real life experience as to what it may what it may look like to be a, a college student and to figure out exactly what or how feasible a college degree can be and I think that's been super inspiring as far as my own involvement with my my state as far as advancing the Latino community so it's definitely been a lot of getting involved myself on campus um, and with the different peoples um, and cultural groups available at school so Cool. So what motivated you to apply to the Congressional Internship Program? So I was motivated to apply for the Congressional Internship Program because I had been to D.C. twice before this summer. Once was to advocate and to do lobbying work for the DREAM Act, and the second time was to protest. 
um, both of which were times where I felt enlightened and I got to see kind of DC in a different light, but I wanted to take it a step further. And I think the Congressional Internship Program offered me an opportunity specifically to sit behind a desk, answer phone calls with constituents, directly connect with constituents, um, and learn how, it, how policy works in Washington, to learn how how the other side across from the desk is like, not just protesting, not just lobbying, but actually getting to work with the people who are creating the laws that could benefit my community. What has been your favorite part of your internship experience? So this internship experience is super unique because we spend a summer surrounded with 30 individuals, specifically Hispanic and Latino individuals from all across the country that are super high achieving. And that's something that for a small boy from Oklahoma, I don't get necessarily the opportunity to do all the time. So being surrounded by high achieving students that look like me has been super, super empowering. Um, and it's, a, it's, it's gonna be one of the biggest takeaways I think I'll be able to have, not only for my undergraduate career, but anything that I may wanna follow through with in the future. Leading to that, how have you grown as a leader over your internship experience? I've definitely had to learn how to adapt within my internship experience. Um, I kind of got thrown into a, uh, a job that's nothing like I would have expected it. I've never been a, a strong writer, um, but I've been a good communicator. And I think that being able to capitalize off of my strengths within my office has helped me, but I've also learned a lot. Uh, whether that's the policy side or willing, whether that's working with um, individuals who are just completely different than me. I think I've had a, a good learning experience here in my office and have been able to capitalize off of what I'm good at. Cool. What would you say to someone considering applying to the internship program? For someone who's considering to apply to the internship program, I would say don't think about yourself. I would say think about those who may follow. This is an opportunity to put yourself in a position of privilege that not a lot of people get. Um, and to be able to sit in a position of privilege, recognize it, capitalize and go, is not only gonna be inspiring for yourself, maybe not even for your family, but it's gonna be very inspiring for your community. Um, and it'll mean a lot. So definitely for someone who's considering it, um, specifically this internship program, it's worthwhile. And what have you learned here that you can apply back at home? I think here, one of the biggest things that I've learned is how to be confident. Um, it's been very difficult to come into this lobbying and policy world without having a strong background in writing when it's something that influences your day to day and the people that you work with all the time. So being able to kind of explore something that I don't necessarily study or something that I'm not comfortable with has been fantastic, um, a fantastic learning experience for me. So. Okay. And say, I am a congressional internship program participant and I am here to lead. Can you hold it up there? I don't want to fuck it up, you know. <laughs> I am a congressional internship program participant and I am here to lead. And then, thank you, CHCI. Thank you, CHCI. Cool. You're, you're all done. Bet. You need me to bring someone through? Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll send a message to Yami. So.